Hey, what's happening YouTube? Raj J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today I'm going to take a look at one from out of Ann Arbor, Michigan and from Arbor Brewing Company. This is the Jack Hammer Old Ale. So pretty sweet looking label I think for an artwork they did on this one. This one is, as it says, an old ale. Actually comes in at 8.5% ABV and it's listed out at about 50 IBU. So looking forward to checking this one out. Go ahead and get it open and let's get it into a glass. All right, so we got the jackhammer in the glass. Didn't pour out much of a head. Just came up at about, a, I'm gonna say a quarter to a half a finger. Actually more of a quarter finger, that's a small finger. So, um, and the head is actually starting to dissipate pretty quickly here. As you can see there, very dark, kind of a dark brown color, not fully jet black. You get some light on it and you can still not see all the way through it, although the shading does lighten up a little bit more from the uh, halfway mark all the way down to the bottom, but still pretty dark overall. Can kind of make out my fingers off the shadow on the other side a little bit, but nothing really great there as far as the appearance. So. Not really much more to really say on this one, just because you're not seeing a carbonation, you're not seeing much of a head, and you can't really make out too much more of it. So let's go ahead and get an aroma. Well, it comes out with kind of that old ale aroma led by the malts. You get a nice sweetness coming out of this one. It's got pretty much like a, what I consider a licorice type smell. Something very common that you get off of some of the stouts, but you're not getting the other dark things such as chocolate or coffee is really just a licorice part that kind of jumps out at you but a very sweet smelling beer as far as the taste oh wow you get hit with big flavor up front off of this one you definitely can tell it's an old ale type beer you have some slight bitterness on the tip of the tongue on the initial but then it smooths right out a nice creamy texture on this one not really any astringency on the back you do get some of that booziness that comes through you taste some of that alcohol but not too off-putting. It doesn't take long for you to start feeling the warmth actually build up in this one. Flavors do get around the mouth nicely. Got it on the tongue, I got it on the roof of the mouth, and also I feel starting to get some into the cheek area, so it does open up very nice on the flavor. You're getting a pretty good average to a good long duration out of it so far. This is probably not one you wanna have going into summer at eight and a half percent. A few of these will definitely weigh you down pretty quickly. If I were to have one like I'm having right now, I'd have it probably more going into the evening hour. Carbonation, it sits okay on the palate. I do feel a little bit of it coming through, but pretty much as lively as you would expect to have on a beer. The one thing on the flavor, it has like that kind of licorice stout-like taste in it as well. Um, Again, not the chocolate, not the coffee, but that licorice type flavoring is there in the taste. I do like how it starts to get the cheeks going a little bit more. I'm feeling some nice tingling action. And I like that chewy texture it has on it too. All in all, not too bad of a beer. Again, the big thing with this one is you do have that alcohol coming in on the back end. I don't know if you've had this one out there or not, but if so, let me know. And again, this is the Arbor Bruin Jack Hammer Old Ale and it does start to jackhammer away at you. So for me, I actually would give this one a rating. I'm gonna give it a three, which will be kind of in that um, B minus, C plus type area. Flip the coin, you can call it how you wanna call it. Not bad, three out of five. I think it has some good drinkability. It's not a beer, like I said, you're gonna have all year round, but it, you, know, you pick your moments with it. I think you can sit back and enjoy it some. It's gonna to be too heavy for some people for sure. But for people that like to have a big type beer and like to have maybe something towards that barley wine type style, um, this is a beer that can actually fill in very nicely along those lines and not go fully up in the ABV um, as some of the barley wines do. You're gonna stay down here at this eight and a half percent. So overall, a nice, a nice tasting beer from Arbor Bruin. I'm gonna go ahead and finish knocking this out. And again, I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. Look forward to catching you on the next one. As I mentioned, if you've had it before, put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And as always, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and all the other good stuff. Keep drinking good craft beers, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.